I'm going to leave it to the gentleman. And what the see homemade edition of Hell's Kitchen located in Baltimore. My name is Chef q -Ball, And you're going to learn how to make homemade crab cakes today. So step one, what you're going to do is you're going to have to wash your hands like this. Make sure that they sanitize real nice. That's a very important part, folks, because you can get all kinds of diseases if your hands aren't washed. Small plates. Okay. I'm talking to you. I'm trying to teach them how to make crab cakes, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, please, can you step your white ass to the side while I'm doing it? Alright. Thanks. Alright. Now that you all sanitized up, you need your crab meat. Mayonnaise. You know, just because it's in a can doesn't mean it's bad. You can still use that crab. Meat. Hey! Can you please shut the hell up? Alright? Alright? I'm up here trying to teach them how to make these crab cakes, and that's all you do is run your damn mouth. You know what? What you can do is go get a nice cup. Shut the hell up! Like I was saying, you have your mustard. Your eggs, your obey seasoning, and your crackers. The most important thing that you have to make sure. I, I really hope I got the right crackers because I just picked up the first ones I saw and I just don't want to disappoint. <laughs> and now listen. When you decide to keep on with the recipe, I'm going to have to slice them nice just to keep them real good, okay? And look, I'm not going back to jail for cutting some crackers up, okay? So, if you don't want you chopped up, step your ass to the side, please. Alright. So now, these please, one of the most important things to do is to make sure that your crab meat is really wrung, wrung out really good when you make it into a bowl. Alright? So now I have my oven. I have my oven heated up to about 350. Also, I have my frying pan heated up as well if you want to bake or fry it. Please don't get mad, but I just really, really want to help. What can I do to help? I, I, there's no point in me being on the show if I can't help. Shut your ass up! Shut your ass up! Put your ass in the cage right now! Alright? I'm tired of talking to you. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I will get back to you after these messages. Ugh.